Well, good evening, everybody. Tonight, we're going to look at how loud do these new Victron 5 kVA inverters get. So I've been asked quite a bit ever since I did the installation, and even as I was going through the installation, how loud do these inverters get? So if you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know I've got a pair of EG46500 inverters, and those things can be loud. In fact, let me see if I can pull up some footage of, of how loud these things get. No, nope, that's not it. Not that either. There we go. That's it. So if I remember right, I think my maximum decibel reading on the 6500s, at least that I experienced, was about 65 decibels. And a lot of that could be whether or not it's charging, discharging, you know, is it PV charging, is it charging from the grid, a lot of different variables, but those fans run constantly. And so what I wanna do is I actually wanna go through and take the same meter, we're gonna set the meter about four feet away from the inverters to get a good reading, and then we'll get a baseline of what it sounds like with no load, and then I'm gonna slowly start adding different loads in order to get these inverters to get louder, kick the fans on and that kind of stuff so we can experience and actually get a good reading on how loud these things actually get. So let me get a few things set up. We will get the camera set up on the meter. I've, you see over my shoulder here, I've got a camera set up on the servo display so that we can get readings of at what ratings, what power outputs do certain things happen with these inverters? And then we'll start turning on loads, you know, our tried and true well and water heater loads. And then I'll look at probably kicking on uh, maybe the microwaves and a couple of vacuums again, just to, to get the inverters to really work hard to see how loud they actually get. All right, so we've got our decibel meter set up about four feet apart. It's kind of smack dab right in the middle between these inverters. The camera's just kind of at an angle right now. Um, I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to turn off the charge controller just so that we know this is not going to kick on. It's nasty and rainy outside right now, so I know it's not going to, but just to remove any extra potential for noise, we've got that turned off. So it's just going to be these two inverters right now. Now, if we, look at the, if we look at the screen right now, we're pulling about 500 watts uh, from the two inverters. I think my wife has the Instapot running right now. And I have all external microphones turned off so that you are getting the actual sound that comes out of the microphone, out of this, this main camera that you're seeing me on right now. Uh, that's going to be the microphone that everything's going to be picked up on. So if I turn my head and talk the other way... Uh, it might get a little quieter, I'll apologize for that. And so in order to get a good baseline, and from what I can see in the camera, I don't see any glare on this decibel meter, but you can see I'm talking fairly loud. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna kill all power so that the inverters can basically zero out, and then we're gonna get a baseline. And I'm really hoping that the dumb animals don't go walking around upstairs and mess up this test. because. <laughs> All right, so let's turn off power and then remind me when I'm done. I need to put the Instapot back on, otherwise dinner is going to be nasty. All right, killed the power. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll turn that off. So with no loads, the decibel meter is 39, 40 decibels. So that is the baseline of these units just turned on so we'll turn the power back on and then we'll get a reading at that 500 rate setting so even with the inverter pull in 1.2 kilowatts the reading really didn't change there is a slight increase in the hum but you know that that 40 decibels is, is really about it. 
So now I'm going to switch microphones and I'm going to head upstairs and start turning on some loads. So the Instapot is back on keep warm. So we've got a few ceiling fans running right now. So we'll turn on the hot water and the cold water to get the well and the water heater to kick in. What really stinks is you're probably picking up the water running down through the pipes more than anything. There we go. 49, 50 decibels. So let me add another load. Still pulling 6.4 kilowatts. All right, we're flashing an overload. But we're still at 50 decibels. So the fans kicked on and now you can see we're at what, 55, 56 ish. Trying to keep that well on again, get those fans to spin up higher. Things are starting to ramp down now that I started turning loads off. So if the remaining of the load is the water heater and the rest of the house, so just under five kilowatts. It's actually funny. So these inverters actually seem to get louder when the fan is running lightly. When the fan opens up, it gets quieter. <laughs> so in these lighter loads, when the fan kicks on, you hear that It's actually louder than when the fans were running full bore. One thing to remember about these inverters is they each have one fan in them probably somewhere right around in this area here. Just blowing air on this transformer. And you know, if I put my hand up here, it's kind of warm. I mean, it's, it's not hot. It's warm to the touch, but not bad at all. I could, I could leave my hand here. So keep in mind, the room that I have these inverters located in is concrete block all the way around. 
So sound in here will bounce off of those walls a bit. If you have it on something that actually absorbs or deadens sound a little bit more, your, your volume level will be potentially a little bit different. But because this room is, what, 12 feet wide? I'm, I'm guessing I might be getting a little bounce back of the sound off of that wall on the other side of the camera. Well, that was actually kind of fun, with the exception of me having to run up and down the stairs and keep resetting the microwave and turning the water on and off and everything. It's warm. <laughs> but we were able to actually kind of do two tests, kind of. It got up to that 60, maybe, but it really, like I said, is the span sped up it actually got quieter. It's it's this slower speed that it's actually somewhat louder. Compared to the 6500s, you know, these things are quiet. I mean, how often are you really going to be running a super high load? Probably all not, not all that often. And even still, it ran the load for a while, and then eventually the fans were ramping up. I did also forget to mention that while the readings got close to some of the readings that the 6500s had, you gotta remember the 6500s got that loud during PV production, during charging, or during high loads. These ones are really only gonna do that during high loads or if you're charging from the grid. PV doesn't really affect it. The volume from this is, is completely separate from the volume on these, and even this is whisper silent compared to the volume that the 6500s had. So, I tell you, I'm, I'm extremely happy with this volume level that these put out versus the 6500s, because there really didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to, you know, what the thresholds and everything were for the 6500s getting louder and louder and louder and then you know obviously the fans are always running i wanted to give you guys a kind of a shorter one that the last handful of them have just seemed to have gone on for hour. but we, we i wanted to get the build stuff all done so that we could get into some of these kinds of tests and i know that a lot of people were interested in you know what's the volume like because a lot of people are putting these in residential spaces i mean th these are in my basement my office is Right on the other side of this brick wall. I always knew when the other inverters were running, but these ones, unless something really kicks in hard and hot, I don't really know. With that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch up with you later.